from the historic Loretto Abbey Chapel. With the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents The Daily TV Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, the friendship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome to the celebration of the, of the daily televised Mass on the Solemnity of All Saints. I am Father Michael Kutz. The televising of this Mass is made possible by a contribution from Agnes Doyle from Cambridge, Ontario. The Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of her husband, Joe Doyle, on the 20th anniversary of his death. Her son, Ron Doyle, who passed away on the 15th of March, 2021, and for the living and deceased members of the Hunt and Doyle families. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen. And as we celebrate this Eucharist on all saints, we ask the Lord to forgive us our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us praise God as we say, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, bestow on us through the, through the prayers of so many intercessors an abundance and of reconciliation with you for which we earnestly de desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw an angel ascending from the rising of the sun, having the seal of the living God. And he called with a loud voice to the four angels who had been given power to damage earth and sea, saying, Do not damage the earth or the sea or the trees until we have marked the servants of our God with a seal on their foreheads. And I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000, sealed out of every tribe of the people of Israel. After this I looked, and there was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, robed in white, with palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God, who is seated on the throne, and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood around the throne, around the elders and the four living creatures. They fell on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, singing, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders addressed me, Who are these robed in white, and where have they come from? I said to him, Sir, you are the one that knows. Then he said to me, 
These are they who have come out of the great ordeal. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this. When he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in God purify themselves, just as he is pure. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. It was the 31st of October, 
and the teacher in this Catholic school decided to give a Christian, a Catholic dimension to Halloween's trick or treat. And so she took her second graders to the cathedral and even the weather was helping. The sun shone in all its gloriousness and the stained glass windows, which had all the saints, Saint Peter and Saint Andrew and Saint Francis and Saint Dominic, they shone in all its brilliance. And the second grader just stood in awe, their mouths dropping as they saw these beautiful saints. And so the teacher took them back in the afternoon and they were still buzzing with excitement at seeing all the saints. And so she asked, and so what do you think a saint is? And little Billy put up his hand and he says, he is the fellow who allows the light to shine through him. Not a great theologian, but accurate. The saints are people who allow the light of God to shine through them. God puts them into the world, not only for us to praise and glorify them, but also to emulate and imitate them. They are the ones who bring light in our world of darkness, a world of darkness, of violence, of chaos, of deceit, of self-centeredness. In this world, these saints come and bring light to us. They live in a world just like yours and mine. They do not go away apart from people like St. Anthony who was the hermit. They stay right in the middle of all the mess that we live in, but they have a different attitude. Um, Rudyard Kipling in his poem, If, says it so beautifully. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, if you can trust yourself when men doubt you, but make allowance for, your, for their doubting too, you have the earth, my friend, and all of heaven as well. What a beautiful way of describing our saints. The book of Revelation describes it in a different way. They are the people dressed in white, clothed and saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. They are people from all races, all colors, all nations, all languages. They are gathered together because they have trusted in the Lord, because they knew that their salvation is a gift from God himself. So what do we do as we come before the throne of God to venerate these saints? Because these saints are interceding for you and for me. They know that you and I have been baptized in the blood of Jesus Christ. We have been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And so by default, we go to heaven. It's only when we choose to go in a different way, we are one day going to be joined at the banquet table of the Lord. It is a Lord that is full of generosity, who calls us again and again to leave the insidiousness of this world, to leave the traps of this world, to leave the self-centeredness of this world, and to cling on to what Paul would call <clears throat> in the letter to the Philippians, something that is honorable, something that is true, something that is pure, something that is just. And all these things are brought together because you and I believe in Jesus Christ. And Jesus has shown us a pattern to walk with. And he has shown us that pattern in the Beatitudes. Blessed are the poor. And that does not mean physically poor because poverty in itself is no virtue. But whether you are rich or whether you are poor, it, they are men and women who are not controlled by their material possessions. Not only they are not controlled by their material possession, but they don't even have a desire for it. I can be very poor, but always live in the hope like the fiddler on the roof, if I were a rich man. No. The pure in heart is the one who trusts totally in God for everything they want, they need, and they desire. Blessed are the meek. These are not people who are doormats, people walk over them, but they are the people who realize that life is too short for all the quarrels and fights that we have. 
They have got backbones of steel, so when something is right and just, they will fight for it, just like Jesus who says, I am meek and humble of heart, but yet took a whip and drove the sellers and the buyers out of the temple. Blessed are those who mourn, not those who whine and complain about everything, but those who weep and are sorry because of the way we treat the immigrants, the poor, the marginalized, as if they are the scum of the earth. Jesus has given us the pattern. You and I can be saints. So what is stopping us? Let us follow in the path of the Lord because God has called us to God's own self. God bless you all. Would you join me now as we make our faith to act of faith together? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended unto hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. During this month of November, we pray in a very special way for all the souls of the faithful departed. May the Lord continue to give them rest, and may the Lord one day join, help us to join them at the table of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for our sponsor of this Mass, for the repose of the soul of Joe Doyle and his son Ron Doyle, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for peace in the world, especially in troubled spots, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Loving and gracious God, receive these our prayers that we make through Christ our Lord. my sisters, my brothers, that this our sacrifice be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all the holy church. May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you, O Lord, and grant that just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, so too we may experience their concern for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our brothers and sisters already give you eternal praise. Today, towards her, we eagerly hasten as pilgrims advancing by faith, rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon those exalted members of the church, through whom you give us in our frailty both strength and good example. 
And so we glorify you with the multitude of saints and angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us <coughs> the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Francis, our Bishop, the bishops across Canada, and all the clergy and this entire people of God. Remember our brothers and sisters. Remember Joe Doyle and his son, Ron Doyle, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of this your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us share with one another a sign of this peace and friendship. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us and all our dear ones unto life everlasting. Amen. <clears throat> Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I passionately desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my soul so that I may unite myself wholly to you, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace so that coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ to love and serve the Lord and one another. Amen. Thanks be to God. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass.